Hello model railroaders, steel mill modelers, HO scalers and such. Here is my 2022 haul for Christmas. I got a uh, new die cast loader, some industrial storage tanks. Fantastic. And this, I've been working on this for eh, a couple of weeks, off and on trying to figure stuff out. Came across this years ago. It is a Penn Central N6A transfer caboose. If you look up that on the interweb, you will find this same exact drawing with dimensions of the caboose you're going to build. Now, years ago, New Jersey Custom Brass um, models produced an N6A in brass, and it's always been out of reach. It's always like 100 bucks or 150 bucks, or you can't find one. So. I'm tired of looking. I'm not getting a brass one. I'll just make my own caboose. And if you're interested, please leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll show you how I did it. And hopefully you can have the same results I did. I mean, it turned out okay. I would have liked to have done a few things different. Figured out the handrails. That was the toughest part of this. I didn't want to have to solder them. And I didn't want to use the little styrene handrails. These are steel. These are metal. I'll show you. Actually, that's what I made it out of. This is quarter inch hardware cloth that you can get at any Home Depot, Lowe's, um, Ace Hardware. I got this at Ace. I love Ace Hardware. If I spend money on hardware stuff, I'm going to Ace. I don't go to the big box stores. I like the little small mom and pop places. Those will be coming back here in the very near future. You'll see. All right. So, like I said, if you would like to build this and have this particular caboose in your collection, even though it's not brass and even though it's not 100% accurate and prototypical, I have a solution. Here's what I started with. This whole build started with this El Cheapo Tyco or Bachman 40-foot gondola. What you do, well, let me show you what you need first. You're going to need this. This is the main car. Pretty sure you got this in your collection somewhere. You probably got more than one. You're going to need one of these. But don't worry if it has the screw or not because we're going to fill that hole with uh, styrene and drill and tap it to accept better trucks anyway. So don't worry about it. You have to have this 40 foot Bachman or Tyco or Mantua gondola. You're also going to need an Atherin bay window caboose. doesn't have to be, you know, I'd rather not use one like a Southern or something like that. I think this was a Western Pacific. I hacked it up and tried to make a small transfer caboose a while back, and that didn't really work out. So I used the caboose end right here. I had to use this as a template, actually, to get the ends. Um, I would have used the ends off this caboose, but the other side is kind of messed up. So I just went ahead and used this as a template. And you're going to need a roundhouse double door outside brace boxcar because you need the roof off of that. That's what the roof is. That came out the box car and that's what's on there now. So you're going to need three cars. You're going to need a 40 foot Tyco or Bachman gondola, an Atherin bay window caboose, and a roundhouse double door outside brace box car. You're going to need the roof off that. So let me know in the comments and I will take a, this here doodad and this spare piece and we will build another one of these cabooses. I'll show you from the time you take this apart all the way up till the time you install the handrails. Pretty easy build. I wanted to start with something easy instead of uh, hey you know let's build this crane. The crane's kind of like 300 pieces and it's kind of hard so I figured scratch building you can start off or bash you can start off with something simple like this this is a good place to start and uh, I'll get the necessary I have one more of these cars I'm not gonna need to cut it up because I have this piece is big enough and I have that and I have all the parts to do another one so let me know in the comments if you'd like to build this caboose for your layout I added some extra weight. I glued windows in and all that good fun stuff. 
I just added an extra piece of weight. It still has the original freight car weight underneath here. I just left that. And out of all of this, the handrails were probably the hardest to produce. And it's a little extra time. And if you do decide to do this and you get some hardware cloth, be smart. Wear these. Because you go snipping and grinding on this, these little pieces go flying all over the place. I've had metal in my eye before. Not very nice. Not fun. And you can really mess yourself up. So leave me a comment below if you would like an N6A transfer caboose in your model train collection. I'll show you how to make one out of a couple of junk cars. And all of this was out of my junk box. This is a random project I came up with one day. Matching up parts and I thought, ah oh, man, I'm going to make this N6A. So that's what I did. Leave a comment down below. You subscribe if you want to. Or if you don't, whatever. Don't care about the thumbs up. I'm not monetized. Doesn't matter. That's it. God bless you all. The end is almost here. Oh, one more thing. Can you tell me what this insignia is? And if so, do you know what they do? And if so, do you know how important they are right now and have been for the last few years? We're not seeing the real world. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. It's going to be so great when this goes down. You're going to be so happy afterwards. Big scare coming up. For those people still asleep, you're going to hit it. It's going to hit you real hard. The truth is going to hit you hard. And you won't like it. But it's the truth. God bless you all. I'm out. Bye.